Hey guys, what's going on? It's Matthew Neatwig. Another very serious intro to Massive Joe's Weekly Word, episode 39. Not here to f spiders this episode, Nebosh. We got two left before season two of TMJ in the USA. We got a lot of topics, man. I got three damn pages of Ask Neve, man. It's a popular section, mate. Topics of discussion, Neve. New products. Yep. Coming soon. Yep. Uh, back in stock. It's pretty standard, really, isn't Team it? Team Jane USA, leg four. Yep. Uh, Massive Joe's top five videos. Massive five. Five, yeah. whatever. That before Team Jane the USA, I right. reckon. What about the big and new, then what about the new store? You didn't put a new store on there. Oh, I didn't. Okay, so let's do that after the Massive Five, then we'll do the new store, then we'll do the TMJ in the USA, leg four. All right, new products. Topic of discussion, Nick. New products now to stop by Femme. So Femme Peach Cream, rubbing the shit on your ass. You got um, <laughs> Femme yeah. Fit. The ass cream. <laughs> the, the, ass cream. <laughs> the other ass cream. Everyone, everyone loves a good ass cream. <laughs> so you got um, Femme Fit. BCAAs. Very, been very popular actually since their launch on when they launch Wednesday. I've had the Tuesday. pineapple. Pineapple tastes quite nice. Yeah, it's good. Fem zip. Well priced as well. Zip the pre workout. Not bad. Not bad Fem for firm. the push cats. Fem firm. Now that's a cool product, man. It's cool a cool product. product. Go watch the raw reviews. They're on the Master Joe's YouTube channel, man. All the products are live in store and online, available for purchase. Uh, Alpha Gym. In the house. Mr. Pani. Test yep. booster. Yep, Raw Review went live today. That product will be live uh, tomorrow, I believe. Alpha Amino. Yep. By Cellucor. Cellucor, that's going to be live tomorrow as well, man. New flavor, A blend of BCAAs and uh, conditionally and uh, non essential, non essential and conditionally essential amino acids, man. Uh, one of our top five best selling lean protein powders. I would go so far as to call it our number one hydrolyzed protein too. powder. I would. Don Father's 100 now in the orange creamsicle flavor. Boom! Um, when you smell it, it tastes like shit. We thought it tastes like shit, but it's actually delicious. It's delicious, man. They've hit the nail on the head. A lot of companies have tried to do fruit flavored proteins. And let's be honest, Nebosh. They f***ed it up. Most of them have, have just missed the target completely. But Dimatize have come into the game, mate, with orange creamsicle. They've come in. up and left. 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 Leave. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Next topic of discussion, hey. Back in stock, post gym by Jim Stepani. Yeah, both flavors as well, man. The watermelon and the fruit punch. What's Knox? Blue. I'm looking forward to Dr. Jim putting that shit in a tub though, man. Yeah. Do you know how much it costs to ship a fucking box of post gym from the US to Australia? We can give it three units in a tub. <laughs> in a it's box. ridiculous. All right. Apparently that's happening pretty soon anyway. No X, what, what's No X Blue, right? Is that No Explode? No Explode, man. The new No Explode in Blue Raspberry. It was never out of stock, stock, though. No, it was on the website. We kept a couple for our VIP customers. Oh, okay. I didn't even know it was Back in stock. stock. <laughs> and um, the cool deal as well this month, Nebosh. Buy No Explode 3.0, the new formula, $49.95, the best price you'll see around. 45 serves. With a free. A dollar a serve almost. With a free No Explode t shirt, valued at $29.95. So really, you're getting like a. If you bought the t-shirt, mate, you can come in and buy a t-shirt for twenty nine ninety five, hey. mate. We'll give you a tub for twenty bucks, mate. Fit, yeah, it's ridiculous if you think of it that That's way. I don't, I don't even know how the hell we're doing that deal, to be oh. honest. So, um, anyway, uh, coming soon, Maxine's Burn Bars by Max's. Yep. For the the protein bars for the push cats. But also the fellas. Because, Those will be live next week. And also yeah. the fellas because there's not a f***ing difference between male and female. No, but mate, there's a pushy cat on the <laughs> table. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, and the uh, bars are small. 5% You would eat yourself probably 6 of them mate uh, I'm killing for a cookies and cream crust bar Oh tell me about it I'm killing you know, I'm killing for a chocolate peanut butter and OG bar I'm having one for my cheat meal this weekend I reckon 5% um, nutrition Kill yeah. it and all day you may Ship today <laughs> Finally I've been telling customers I got the tracking for I'll it. tell you I told customers will be in stock 2 weeks yeah. 3 weeks ago mate I'm not happy about it man no. uh, Mixed berry fuel yeah, machine fuel, mixed berry, gonna Ooh. be in within two weeks, man, in the 30 serves. It's gonna be cool. We might be running a cool deal on machine fuel, man. And also, introducing new flavors, man. And also, Arnold I'm series. I'm playing around with it. I'm seeing what we can come up with, my man, Mark Lobelin. Arnold series. Yep. Uh, Iron Mass is coming out in the bags. Yeah, that'll be in next week. We've had a few people hit us up for that, man, because we said it was gonna be in a while ago. Uh, Muscle Farm went and fucked up the import permit, so it wasn't, but now it's gonna be in next week. All right. Next topic of discussion, Neve. Massive five videos. Yeah, cool. You want to tell the viewers? Or you want me to tell the viewers? Jerry, I'll be honest. I have no idea. <laughs> I haven't even watched one of them, so I've got no idea. Mate, you have been sitting in your <laughs> national sales manager chair at Massive Joe's. 
game board. Go do this, go do this. And I missed what the whole business development side of it is. <laughs> we have no idea what's going on. Anyway, so what we've done is we put together, we always get asked what the top products are within each product category, or the most popular product category. So, you know, what are the top five pre-workouts? What are the top five protein powders? What are the top five gainers? What are the top five intra-workout BCAAs? What are the top five weight loss supplements? So what we did, man, is on the Massive Joe's website, if you go to the, the top bar and you click articles, and underneath articles, you click the Massive Five. You know what? I reckon even, even better, Dilla, the cutting specialist, is gonna put a screen overlay in the video right now and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So go to massivejoes.com, in the top bar you click the article subheading and then underneath that you click the massive five. And then in the massive five you've got the different supplement categories. So pre-workout, intra-workout, weight loss, gain of protein powder, normal protein powder, and what's the other one? Fat banner? There's another one as well. Weight loss in there as well. Yeah, so we've got those, uh, those are the, the categories and you click on those categories and then you can go through and click on first half 2014. And within each of those categories for the first half of 2014, we've gone and made the video of the top five products within each of those categories. And then there's a write up on the products and you can actually click the products and go check them out and purchase them if you want to purchase them as well. So it's a new initiative by us, man. Mm. It's called the Massive Five. It's really just, just making sure that we're getting to you guys what we reckon are the, the best products within each product category. Because a lot of people email me at sales at Massive Joe's and yeah. stuff on Facebook and say, what, what do you recommend as a mass gain or what do you recommend as a fat burner? Yeah. Now you can really look at the Massive Top 5. Yeah. Massive 5, Top 5. Yeah. And check out what the top five fat burners, what the top five mass are. gainers, protein powders, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, and it's not, to be, to be uh, transparent with the viewers at home, it's not based on sales, it's based on our personal experience. And it's based on what we think in our, in our experience in the industry and in our personal opinions and our experience with the products, what the top five products are within each category. Yeah, that's cool, man. Next topic of discussion, Neve. All right, it's a new store. So here uh, at Massive Joe's right MJ4. now, opening up our fourth, Fourth store. Yep. Uh, so we currently got Everstown, uh, Donut Court, Gawler, Gawler, and now we're opening one at FP. If you can work out what FP stands for, you get a free t shirt. We're calling because we, all of our stores have got like letter acronyms. So MJHQ is Hedwood, headquarters or Edwardstown or Hedwardstown, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> MJDC is Dernacourt, MJGG is Gawler Green, and this is called MJFP. So if you work out where FP is... And it, it doesn't stand for Fruit Punch. Which we call on it. <laughs> which we're calling it to keep it under wraps. But it's gonna be FP. It is in South Australia, somewhere in South Australia, and obviously uh, it's nowhere near where our other stores are. It's Metro. It's Metro, yeah, but it's not like, you know, in Golden Grove, which is right next to Dernacourt and in between Gawler. Yeah, it's a it's a new location for us. And it's cool, man. If you can guess what it is, you get a free T-shirt from Joe. Oh, nice. Thanks for that, Nebo. Or you can Why have not? you can have one of the promo shirts from my wardrobe because I just cleaned it out, mate. I had like fifty promo shirts. Man. Are you serious, man? From companies that we uh, still do business with, no, or companies few, that are shuttled over our chest. Oh, uh, like muscle. We might have to have a big. I, I had like seven muscle team muscle tech shirts. Oh God. I like just oh, what's like Gasparo. I just had heaps of shit. Anyway. What are you gonna do with them, man? You uh, can't sell muscle tech products, let alone apparel. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to give them to the salvos. Next topic of discussion. Uh, MJ in the USA Leg 4, which is Charlotte's Dallas. Yeah, cool. Well, I was, that was the surprise, Nick. Oh, sorry. That's all right. <laughs> well, so, don't write shit down there Charlotte, tell me to read it. We train at the fitness factory, we hop on a plane, we get the f out of Charlotte, and we touch down in Dallas, Texas, man. What are we doing in Dallas, man? Uh, Dallas, we're actually in Dallas for almost three days. It's one of the biggest parts of this tour in terms of the amount of time we actually spend there. Are we still with Mike Webber on the stage? Yeah, man. So we're training with... <laughs> Is that what we're doing? Do bleep that out, please. It's <laughs> Dallas! Where's Dallas? Do you even know what we're doing <laughs> oh, in the Texas. US? Dallas, Texas. Oh my God. Who gives a f***? <laughs> they, they know what's happening anyway. <laughs> That's for TMJ in the USA leg five. Oh, mate, we've blown it. What you do my head in this? How am I going to travel with you for three weeks? <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Um, we're going to Dallas. No, I'll tell them what we're doing. You don't know we're what we're doing. We're training with Big J at Intensityville. We're training with Big J. We're training with Chris Jones. We're training with Vince the Swole Nerd from Physiques and Greatness. We're going to Purist Labs, bitch. 
Gonna go check out what they're doing, man, with Noxygen, Amino D, their other products, man, that we're bringing into the Australian market for the viewers at home. Where did we go go-karting last year? And then what, uh, that was in Dallas. Oh yeah, yeah we're gonna do that again, that was awesome fun. And then what are we doing, the last thing we're doing about Dallas, mate? I got no idea, mate, I didn't even know oh, what Dallas was. Probably the highlight, of the non-bodybuilding or supplement related oh, highlights yeah, yeah. of the trip is we're actually seeing the Dallas Cowboys play mm. NFL, American football, at uh, Cowboys Stadium in Dallas on Sunday night before we fly out to the next destination, which we'll tell you guys about next week. Next topic of discussion, Nick. Ask me. Let's go, man. Bunch of, pa bunch of questions. Oh. Gonna get, you gotta be quick, man, because right, there's I'll a be lot quick. of questions. I'll be, I'll be Don't be f***ing answering them, and then I'll start asking the next question, and you come back and you finish up answering the question. Right, I'll, do it, I'll do it quickly. One f***ing answer. Alright. Sean Heatley wants to know, Nevos, both you and Joe hype up BioGrow, but is it really worth it? Because Lane Norton stated, uh, stated that orally consumed peptides will be degraded and are not going to reach circulation in any decent quantity. What are your thoughts? Uh, well, it's not just peptides. Yeah. It's protein peptides. It's peptides derived from colostrum. I don't think Lane Norton actually knows what BioGrow is. I don't think he's talking about BioGrow. I think he's talking about just peptides in general. Yeah. I think he's talking more about like your GHRP6 Injectable peptides and your CJC. That you generally have to inject because I they don't, don't think, reach the bloodstream. I don't. Uh, uh, well, correct yourself if I'm wrong, but I don't think he's talking about the particular product being BioGrow. I don't think he is either. Because BioGrow is a. What's the word I'm looking for? Is a one of kind product. Unique? Yeah, unique product. Yeah. Do you think Lane may be misinformed? Yep. Lane does get misinformed every now and again. Next, Next question, question Neve. Kai Williams wants to know, what sparked your love for fitness training and where did you first see your perspective idols? P.S. I love BioGrow. Get it in you. There you go. Mate. Another BioGrow. Another bio. Everyone's talking about BioGrow at the moment. Kai Williams, right? hit up Lane Norton. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, uh, answer, the, answer the question. Yeah, I used to play footy, so my love for fitness started from playing football, Aussie yep. rules football. Um, and then... Who were your perspective artists apart from Tony Modra? No, Tony Modra. Just Tony Modra. Yep. Next question, Joshua Witty wants to know, does your body build up a tolerance for things like beta alanine and taurine? Uh, I wouldn't say it builds up a... Uh, your body will build up a... No, but your body will build up a, like a tolerance to like the tingles of beta alanine, which yeah. mine has. Beta alanema. But in terms of you don't have to cycle beta no, alanine, you, don't, you no. don't have to cycle amino acids like you do caffeine and other stimulants. No. Next question, Neve. Conley Lawrence wants to know, I can consume one gram of caffeine in a day. Shit! That's a lot of caffeine. Yes, yeah, cycle off. Next question. <laughs> uh, and I feel just fine and sleep wonderfully. Should I cycle off now? Yes. Elia Hugh the server wants to know, G'day Nevos, I've been training my quads real hard recently, mm. including some of the TMJ quad workouts, mate. Yeah. The uh, Quadzilla workout, mate. The uh, crazy quad. Crazy quad. We released the uh, War on Wheels last week. Oh, the Kai Green inspired. Who comes up with these words? Man, okay, keep going. Intense. Anyway, uh, I've developed a ton of quad mass. The rest of my body is pretty cut, but I only have definition in my quads when they're tensed. How do I get some quad definition? Um, well, you might just store your, your body fat on your quads, which some people uh, some people store a lot on of guys quads. do. They tend to store lot, yeah. Uh, yeah, store on your your lower back your your stomach, Legs. et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. I mean, when I got my body fat tested a couple of years ago, when I was doing, when I, I was still fairly lean, but I was doing more, sort of heading towards powerlifting. But my, obviously my lower back and my guts were where I held most of my body fat, but my next fattest body part were my quads and hamstrings. There you go. It's just genetics, isn't it? Yeah. So keep dieting, man. Keep getting And of course they're going to be more cut when you're f***ing tensed anyway. So. That's it. Sweaty bro wants to know, have you ever shat or nearly shat your pants while deadlifting? <laughs> no, but uh, Joey shat himself. On, <laughs> Joey shat himself on the leg press, so. And then what did Joe do? He cleaned it out and then came back <laughs> and then finished his set. T Schneid's 22. Lord Nevos of Swaltenfell, of all the pre-workouts that you have taken with Noxygen, what has been your favourite to stack Noxygen with? Uh, definitely Clash. That's why we made the Clash and Noxygen Swall Stack. The Swall Stack. I mean, I've been, behind Clash? Um, I've been using, to be honest, the last three nights I've used No Explode 3.0 on Noxygen. It's not 3.0, it's No Explode. Oh, f BS, I'll get a f***ing email from BSN again if you keep calling it 3.0. Whatever, it's a f***ing <laughs> third one. They should have... It's a f***ing third version of No Explode. <laughs> you f***ing glammed your <laughs> oh god, I think my inbox just blew up. Anyway, um, uh, it's actually the fourth version of NO Explode because there was NO Explode, then NO Explode NT, then oh, yeah, NO Explode 2.0. So technically, they should have called it NO Explode 4. 
BSN need to sack their name making person, <laughs> don't they? <laughs> they probably have a name making person. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. He's probably on a hundred thousand a year and he just keeps putting different numbers in. <laughs> Cell mass 2.0, real original. <laughs> All right, come on. Um, what question are we up to? Uh, okay, you're oh, talking about Enox yeah. stacking. Right, oxygen. Right, no explain an oxygen. Ox ox Try to redeem yourself. Say something nice about this. Um, and then Defcon and um, Defcon and oxygen. Yeah, I agree with you. Clash and oxygen is the best. and explode and oxygen is the second best. Next question, Neve. Uh, Jack Dunn wants to know what are the plaques on the wall behind you? If they are qualifications, who do they belong to, and what are they for? They're big Giuseppe's. Uh, plaques. They are, man. For his, uh, <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering. That's one. Bachelor of Engineering. Uh, first class honours in Mechanical Engineering, man. Ah, <laughs> leave it down here. I make nice wall decorations. Bachelor of Law with honours. It doesn't say what I majored in, but I majored in, uh, Corporate Law and minored in Intellectual Property Law. I just want to show you Nevos completed, um, oh, shit. Nevos completed year 12 <laughs> with uh, passes in some subjects. Nice one, Nevos. And I got my Cert 3 and 4 in fitness. How good was the, some of the applications that we got for the recent <laughs> position? Yeah. Where people actually sent in their report cards? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next question, from, Neve. From like 27 years ago where they were still like typewritten. Marcus Hadrick wants to know, ask Neve, how long should I stop taking pre-workout for once I build up a tolerance? Been taking Mr. Hyde so I don't really want to up the dosage too much and have a damn near heart attack. Uh, just cycle up for like two weeks. Yeah, generally. Generally two weeks is plenty. Uh, the White Tree 70 wants to know, hey Nevosh and Joe, I currently feel a tingling sensation in the lower triceps whenever I do a pressing movement, whether it be for chest or triceps. Should I get a sleeve, go lighter, so A, get a sleeve, B, go lighter, or C, apply deep heat Voltaren to it, hoping it goes away. Cheers for answering, good to see Neve getting them cuts for the sluts. Um, the white tree, it seems like all of your- The wall seems so f***ing bare. Hey, you answer the question, I'm gonna put these bitches back up. The white tree, 70, um, it seems like all of your uh, A, B, and C uh, responses seem to all be band-aid uh, Yeah, fixes. you gotta fix that problem, man. So, there's an underlying source, so go see a physio. Don't cover it up and hope it goes away. Yeah, you gotta get to the, you gotta get to the root of this I mean, problem, man. If you're going lighter, then you're not gonna be getting as many gains. That's it. If you, if you use a sleeve- Could actually be losing gains. If you get a sleeve or you just, that's a band-aid option. Band -aid. Then, Voltaren or something just to warm it up a bit and then yeah. Next question. Barney Ong asked Nebos. Barney, come on. Mate. Is there a flavor some for the rest of them. which you've dreamt of in tasting a protein powder but no company has made yet? No, but my favorite company is like chocolate chip cookie dough. Uh, cookie. Cookies and um, cookies. There actually is Barney. I've got one that I would like to see a company make that they haven't done yet. Yeah. Is white chocolate and honeycomb oh, yeah. together. I've been told uh, NTS Whey and Caramel Sutra, which will be available at Massive Joe's end of October, you, I might add, yeah. um, is white chocolate and caramel. But um, white chocolate honeycomb would be the there's not. Man. But, but if I did, it would be like, yeah, it'd be like your chocolate chip cookie dough and like, yeah. your cake batter. I like that kind of flavors. Tom Atkinson wants to know, hey fellas, I've been going to the gym for six months now and seen some satisfying gains. I'm heavy as f weighs 100 kilos or 220 pounds for the US viewers at home and around 25% body fat as an estimate. What is a reasonable target body fat percentage for the next British summer, July 2015, so almost 12 months from now, 10 months. Uh, bear in mind I'm 16, six foot two and I go to the gym four times a week. Oh, uh, so I mean, so if, if you're 100 kilos. Within, man, within 10 months, you can get from 25%, within 10 months, you can get to any body fat percentage you want. Yeah, you get Plenty of time. You can get down to four. You get down to four percent if you yeah. want. You can get shredded. As I mean, if you're 100 kilos, you're 25 percent body fat. If you, so you're 75 kilograms of lean muscle. Mm. So if you get down to like say 85 kilos, you'll be sitting at a pretty nice low body fat. Yeah, right? you just need to decide. That's man. 15 kilos in 10 months. I mean, that's a kilo a month, mate. Just about. Well, yeah, exactly. Generally, 200, generally 50 grams a week. Yeah, that, that's definitely maintainable and definitely achievable weight loss. Next question. Aaron Pickard wants to know, Sir Neva Lot, I've recently been experiencing painful pumps in my forearms. When training biceps and triceps, and training arms, yeah. forearms blowing up like balloons, yeah. man. Done the old Sal Hassan. Uh, it has gotten to the point where I feel it's inhibiting my, pro my progress and workouts 
Since wherever I have attempted to push past it, I've had to drop the weight since my grip is starting to go, despite feeling like I can keep going in my biceps and triceps. I will superset one bi exercise and one tri exercise, wondering if you could advise on how to overcome this. Aaron, use um, lifting straps. Yeah. Because, Easiest thing, man. Um, that way, like we use them on our real heavy, you don't see too many people doing it, but we do it on our real heavy sets. Yeah. It takes the form out, also helps just with your grip strength when you are curling them 30 kilo dumbbells or whatever you want to curl. Yeah. Um, but if, yeah, if you're using your lifting straps, you don't have to quite grip as hard. We yeah. can take, I mean, you're probably gripping the dumbbells like you're gripping you. Oh, that's what you were gonna say. <laughs> You're probably gripping it too tight, mate. Just <laughs> ease up a little bit of blood in there. Next um, question. Yeah, you use lifting straps and it'll take the take the um, stress off your forearm, take the pump off your forearm. Jacob Thomas wants to know, is there anywhere in the States, in the United States of America, to get TMJ merchandise or only air mailed from MJHQ? Uh, no, we're only uh, SA, an Australian based company, so. Yeah, so we ship out of MJHQ. We're looking at, at, at doing, uh, obviously we ship worldwide, but we are looking at setting up distribution in the US and Europe as well. So we'd actually ship from the US and ship from Europe but we do have some bits and pieces in terms of the supply chain that we need to sort out first. Which is what we're going to team around the USA for. That's true, before we can get it all organized. Next question, Neve. Nicholas Nutson wants to know, Sir Nevos, I have a friend who's doing a weekend long CrossFit competition and I'm trying to help her with a supplement stack that will give her the biggest edge. It's a three day comp with one workout on Friday night, three workouts Saturday and two workouts on Sunday. What do you recommend for the entire weekend? I think the CrossFit world could learn a lot from the bodybuilding world about supplementation optimized performance. The White Giraffe could chime in on this as well if he wants. Thanks guys. Nick from the USA. Um, I mean, how many are you doing on Friday night? One workout on Friday, three on Saturday and two on Sunday. I mean, the thing about, the thing about um, you wouldn't really go too much pre-workout, so would you? No, you wouldn't because do so. I wouldn't touch stims at all, man. Because at especially all. on like the Saturday and the Sunday where you're doing two yeah. workouts, you got, if you haven't one beforehand, you're going to be up and down like You're going to be yeah. hitting brick balls all over the place. Yeah. Um, she needs to keep her, it's, it, I would say as crossfitters, yep. it is mainly your intra-workout and your post-workout that you need to watch out of. Spot like, on. So stuff like your carb on, like your Vitago, yep. um, your carbolic by ProSops. Yep. Stuff to give her the carbohydrates to to give her uh, performance carbs, yeah, performance man. carbs to give her that glycogen source. That intra workout performance, glycogen source and to between workouts to give her to give her that energy. Um, your BCAA is just to prevent your muscle breakdown while yep. she's competing. I would um, agree. And then yeah, just your protein for recovery between the workouts. That's what I'd do, man. I wouldn't touch stimulants at all. I'd go intra workout carbs, intra workout BCAAs, post workout protein, and your sweet, and just get her meals right as well. Yeah, of course, the, the, the Mills. This is just supplements, man. The Mills is on top of all this. Last question, Neve. Dean JKS wants to know, Nevos, why do you and Jerome have different last names if you guys are brothers? We don't. His name is Jeremy Allison Mills and I'm Stephen James Mills. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good answer to the question. What's the truth, mate? Well, I guess your both names is Mills. Yeah. But there are a lot of people with the last name Mills. We look the same, mate. We're both the body of the gods. And we actually have um, our executive assistant here. Her name is Mills too. Yeah, that's <laughs> Just to name. complicate That's things. her first name. Mills, do you have anything else you'd like to add? Um, Jeremy's middle name is Allison, which is a girl's name. I tell the <laughs> viewers to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Stay up to date with all the latest editions of Massive Joe's Weekly Word and all the other deliciousness we've got going on the YouTube channel, guys. That is Massive Joe's Weekly Word. See you guys next week where we come to and from Neve. I f. Massivejoe's.com. Stay massive. Stay massive.